Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fazal Ramdani. I'm from Pharmacy 2019. And today I will presentation my paper about students' problem in managing time that can lead to depression and stress. The first slide is about time timeline. Timeline is include six material. The first is introduction. Second one is literature review. Third is research method. The fourth is findings. The fifth is discussion, and the last one is conclusion. And next slide is introduction. Managing time is important for students as well as in general activities, because by managing time well, students can carry out their assignment on lecture activities regularly and productively. The tech schedule of lecture and practicum and organization demands more time spent. Time is the most valuable research to text the concept of time management to maintain a balance between the demands of routine and ability. Next slide is uh, time management is the ability to prioritize schedule and carry out individual responsibility for the satisfaction of that individual by Jones and Barlett 2004. And uh, the research about students' problem in managing time have been conducted by some researchers. However, some of them not discuss the impact of students' problem in managing time, for example, that can cause a depression. Therefore, this research aims to find out the knowing level of student ability in managing time the problems faced by students in managing time and the bad impact that might that may possibly happen. To achieve the goal, the writer proposed some of these research questions. First is how students think about how they manage their time. Second is what problems have students faced in managing time. Third is what students' opinion about the tight schedule of lecture. Next one is literature review. Uh, first is theoretical framework. Time management. Time management is a process of learning and self-control action in determining a certain amount of time to perform various desired activities so as to be able to do it efficiently and effectively. Time management is also the most important thing in running a particular business <clears throat> because by doing the right time management is one of the important things in achieving success. Therefore, therefore, for someone who performs his work time productively in order to be able to complete his task and stay awake to carry out the next task is a challenge in the self-control of each individual. So time is a definite, definite uh, research although is can easily pass that cannot return to use at the next opportunity. Next is depression. Depression is a serious mental illness which is, which is usually characterized by feelings of sadness or anxious. Most of the students sometimes feel sad or anxious, but this motion usually pass quickly within a few days. Depression is that is not treatable and interfere with daily activities. Beck and Alford 2009 state that depression can be defining from a following. First is change in the specific mood such as sadness, loneliness, and indifference. <clears throat> Second is negative self-concept associated by, with, by denouncing and blaming themselves on. Next is empirical review. Based on a study conducted by Puspita Sari 2013, conclude that there are there is a positive relationship between time management with academic achievement of working students. The higher time management, the higher of academic achievement of students who work. On the contrary, the lower the time management, the lower the academic achievement working student. And another study conducted by DPP Hoy 2009 
Result from the this study showed that self reports of time management behaviors or skill were often related to academic achievement. Effective time management lowers stress and strength. Good time managers provide planning and organization. In addition, inefficient time use, lack of control over time demands, and inadequate amounts of time appeared to have a negative impact on individuals' psychological research. So it can, it, it can be explained that the result of the study show that the self-report or time management skills are of, often related to academic achievement, effectiveness, lower management, cause stress and tension, good time managing, manager planning and organization, in addition the efficient the inefficiency of time use, the lack of control over the demands of time and an inadequate amount of time was found to have an impact negative on individual psychological. Next slide is about research method. This study used a qualitative descriptive qualitative. Qualitative research is research on research that is descriptive and tends to use analyze. This research leads to a useful phenomenological approach to understand the phenomenal experience using the interview. The interviews conducted are aimed to at obtaining data directly from the source. To obtain research data, respondents in this study are pharmacy students of Muhammadiyya University of Yogyakarta who are experienced in managing time at the time of lectures. It has been selected five respondents as interviewers and the respondent will be given five questions. The next slide is findings. This, this finding is include five questions. The first question is what problem do you face in managing your lecture time, practicum, as well as solid organization? The second question is do you feel depressed, stressed, and managing a busy time? Question three is how do you overcome depression to due to difficult time management? Question four, how do you manage the time of practicum lectures as well as organization? The last question is, what benefit do you get if you can divide the time? And next is the, dat the data about students' opinion on what issues they face about ranking course schedule and organization that can lead to stress and depression. We got several different results. The data were collected on 15 April 2021 and the interview is a Microsoft team application. The next is discussion. From the explanation of any problem and how to solve problem in managing the time of lecture and organization that can cause stress and depression in students, on average each respondent has the same problem and how to solve the problem is almost the same. Each student is able to determine based on his interest the priority time in the student activist plan is more academic. So students of pharmacy study program of Mamadia University of Yogyakarta choose to complete the next academic task of organizational task. Then for other reasons how students manage their time are the following time management of student organization that prioritize their organization recognize that when there is a work program then the time is confiscate more for the organization than for lectures. In dividing the time between two tasks that student activists are working on tasks in the order of deadlines or priorities. In managing student time using how to plan it in advance whether written in a note or not. Obstacles in implementing a pre-prepared plan if there are urgent matters or other priorities that are students. Free time has been used by students is an effective and efficient way. For, for example, creating tasks, organizing, developing hobbies, or reading books to add insights. <coughs> the next slide is 
about conclusion. Based on the result of research, analyze and discussion, obtain can be take, taken conclusion for time management of student organization. Almost all of them attach importance to academics. Then to overcome the bumpy schedule, students have made a note of top priorities in a month in the form of reminder on mobile phones and writing on the books. Then to overcome stress can be concluded that each student has a different way of coping with their depression and stress. Some of them go for go for a vacation and play with friends to relieve stress. Then there are also those who rest and watch movie in their spare time. Maybe that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.